Hello, I'm Frank Jens, Chief Analyst at IDC. Welcome to this preview of IDC's predictions for 2008. Each year, my colleagues from around the world and I share with clients our researched views about the forces shaping the future of the information technology marketplace, along with predictions about what important steps vendors and users will take in light of those forces. In the next few minutes, I'll share some of our most important predictions for 2008 with you. Over the past several years, IDC has identified a handful of key disruptions around emerging markets, online delivery, communities, and solutions packaging that we've predicted will profoundly transform the IT market. But as we've seen before in periods of disruption, many market leaders, with a vested interest in the status quo, have reluctantly and cautiously just dabbled in these disruptive new markets, models, and offerings. But that is about to change. Looking ahead to 2008, the common theme we'll see is that most of the IT market's key players will finally jump in with both feet. The coming year will be marked by greatly increased investment in emerging markets, introduction of a raft of new online product and service offerings, the opening up of closed business models to communities, and innovative new approaches to simple, solutions-oriented packaging. Here are just six of the key developments that will define the coming year. Our first prediction that sets the stage for all our other's predictions is that worldwide IT spending growth will be lower, at 5.5 to 6%, down from 2007's almost 7%. Driving this significant drop is worsening U.S. economic forecasts, which could cut U.S. IT spending growth in half. Our second prediction is that this market slowdown will lead IT vendors to accelerate their investments in hypergrowth emerging markets in several areas, in the BRIC economies of Brazil, China, India, and Russia, as well as in the next nine emerging economies with the greatest growth potential. This baker's dozen will collectively grow at two to three times the overall market rate. And in another kind of emerging market segment, companies will accelerate their investments in small and medium business, which will grow at one and a half to two times the overall market, with major consumer players like Google, eBay, Apple, cable system operators, and others taking on Microsoft, IBM, HP, and other traditional IT players. Our third prediction is that in order to profitably reach these emerging markets, the industry's big market makers, notably IBM and Microsoft, but many, many others as well, will move major parts of their offerings online after years of just dabbling in software as a service and other forms of online delivery. In a twist, also look for Google and Cisco to make some big moves here. Our fourth prediction is about business appliances, with IT hardware and software leaders stealing a page out of the consumer market playbook. Apple's iPod and iTunes store success has shown the IT industry that simple and integrated packaging can accelerate sales and increase value. And so in 2008, we look for one or two major server vendors to borrow this idea. And along with software partners, pre-package their commodity servers with software as business appliances targeted at small businesses. Our fifth prediction is about different kinds of appliances, really small ones. In the coming year, we'll see a proliferation of what we call web gadgets, a wide variety of devices filling the gap between notebook PCs and smartphones that are one or two palms wide, web connected, consumer priced, simple to use, have good battery life, and are really good at one or a small number of things. Apple's iPod Touch and Amazon's Kindle are just the beginning. Dozens of these devices that greatly extend the reach of the mobile internet will be announced from vendors like Asus, Quizda, Compal, Electrobit, and, oh yes, Microsoft and Apple. And speaking about the mobile internet, our sixth prediction is about a dramatic transformation we will begin to see in the telecom industry. Virtually all major mobile network operators will, albeit slowly and begrudgingly, follow Verizon Wireless's recent announcement that it is opening up its network to any devices and any applications. Why? 
survival. Operators are discovering the internet rules that others in the IT marketplace have already learned, that walled gardens imprison the gardener. In an exploding online marketplace, the only way to survive and grow is to open up and invite in others who will help you create much more value for customers much faster. So one thing about 2008 is clear. There'll be so much investment in these disruptive markets, business models, and offerings they, that they will in fact cease to be considered disruptions. They will in fact become the new status quo for competing in this post-disruption IT marketplace of the next decade. IT players who still see these disruptions as disruptions rather than the new rules for competing will be in deep trouble as more market share is certain to shift in the next five years as a result of these new approaches than we saw in the last 10. To see the rest of our predictions, as well as the dozens of top 10 prediction documents we will publish in December and January, each focused on a different segment of the IT industry, come to our predictions page at idc.com. Thanks, and have a great year.